Hey, just wonk. So what's the best minion in Skyblock? Is it Revenant minions? Tarantula minions? Snow minions even? Yeah, no, it's none of those. Here, let me explain. What's up guys, it's me, Just Wonk, and today I'm going to explain to you the top 5 minions for money making in Skyblock, and then one overrated minion. This video is essential for anyone who wants to make money off your minions, whether you're early on, in the mid game, or a sweaty try hard late game player. This guide will be a lot of help for you. You're going to watch the very end for the best minions. Also, on December 23rd, 2020, we will be holding a huge event on our island where we are going to be giving away thousands of gifts to our Twitch viewers. Link to our Twitch in the description below. I stream live at 7.30 Eastern Standard Time, Fridays and Saturdays. If you enjoy our content, please consider leaving a like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps out channels like us when we're just getting started. I hope you all enjoy the video and you all have a great day. First, let's have some ground rules for our rankings. I'm going to tell you how much money each of these minions will make per day while they are only assisted by the diamond spreading minion upgrade. For those who don't know, the diamond spreading minion upgrade is absolutely essential for anyone who wants to make money off their minions. What it actually does is give you a bonus diamond for around every 10 or so items your minions collect. That may not sound like too much, but trust me, you're going to need this. They are definitely worth it. They sell in the auction for only a few thousand coins, they'll make your money back within a few hours. For the sake of this video, we're also not going to be factoring fuel to our calculations, but just remember, fuel can boost the speed of a minion by up to 400%. I recommend using an enchanted lava bucket because it's permanent and is a decent fuel, however which fuel source you use is something for you to decide. As far as the actual rankings go, we're not basing these based off solely profit, but we're also basing these off how stable their markets are. We'll also give you some tips on how to make the most of each minion on this list. With that being said, let's get right into our rankings. Number 5. Clay Minions Clay was the OG cash crop, by which I mean it was the original item to be farmed by slaves for money. Although Clay Minions aren't as good as what they used to be back in the old days of Skyblock, but even today they rival Snow Minions in terms of profit and are much cheaper. The clay they make can be sold for a very solid profit, but if it wasn't for the additional diamond spread, I wouldn't exactly call them a top tier minion. Because they farm silver clay at once, they get a lot more diamonds than your average minion. So diamond spreading is very important to pair with this minion. Clay minions are overall a very solid minion and are able to make around 40k a day. If you can't get your hands on the other minions on this list, this minion will act as a very suitable replacement. I suggest upgrading them to tier 11. Each one will cost you under 500k either by grinding fishing and then unlocking recipe to craft it yourself or going from lobby to lobby asking for someone to sell it. Number 4 Snow Minions Snow Minions are very solid minions these days and they can be very profitable. Even though they're called Snow Minions, if it wasn't for the amount of diamonds they produced, they would be pretty bad minions for making money. The diamonds created through the use of diamond spreading just about doubles this minion's profit. They can make around 44,000 coins a day, which is a little more than the clay minions. The price of snow has been fairly consistent for a long time, and they can be a very nice safety minion to have if you have some other minions markets crash and become less profitable as a result. The issue of snow minions is of course obtaining them. Like the most minions on this list, snow minions is no easy feat to get. They can only be attained rarely from gifts obtainable during the season of Jerry. Or during our event on the 23rd, we'll be giving out thousands of gifts to you guys. Join us, Twitch event. Can't wait to see you there. If you want to get one, you can either buy one from the many people shouting out they're selling their tier 11 snow maidens in many different lobbies, or you could buy a lot of gifts and roll the dice, you might get one. If you want the best coin to snow minion ratio, you buy red gifts. They are the most expensive, but you have the highest chance of getting a snow maiden. Green gifts are also expensive, but they provide no better chance of getting one from a white gift, so just don't buy them. Buying a snow minion from a random guy is a bit of a wild card concerning price, but it will usually be around the 900,000 coin range. Not very cheap. Overall, this is a very good minion, but isn't really much better when clay taking the price into account. So you can really go either way between snow and clay. Just like clay minions, upgrade this guy all the way to tier 11 before using him. Number 3. Tarantula Minions but just wonk, what are you saying? Tons of forums and YouTubers say this is the number one or number two minion to use. Well, just allow me to explain why I put this minion only at number three. This minion is not very expensive at first, and it'll cost you only about 100k to craft up to tier four. 
But after that, they go into some Jeff Bezos level expensive. So I can't recommend going any higher than tier 4 of this minion. You don't need to go any higher than this, because it'll still make you around 30k coins a day. They may not sound like too much, but considering both Clay and Snow minions make more money than that, well, wait, 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 wait. It makes only that much? Just hold on one second. Tarantula minions and other mob spawning minions have the ability to make AFK farms. I'm not exactly what you call an expert on these AFK farms, but if you make one, they can just about double the output of these minions. Yeah, you heard me, double. The only downside is AFKing is a dumb and stupid thing to do, and I don't recommend. Only the most tryhard of all Skyblock players would ever consider leaving their computers on 24-7 for the max virtual money output. First off, it's bad for your computer, it increases your electric bill, and it's laggy for high pixel servers. With that being said, I cannot ignore just how profitable these minions are. If you're wondering why people say that the Tarantula minion is the best minion out there, then allow me to explain. This minion, like all other minions, can be upgraded to tier 11. However, to upgrade this minion to tier 11 would just take so much money. I'd give you an estimate of price, but it's really going to vary a lot based on the time, just because how much flint and how many tarantula webs you're going to need to buy for, to upgrade this minion from tier 1 to tier 11. A tier 11 tarantula minion would cost more than 50 million at the time. That's more than the mighty sword. It's just fucking insane. So to conclude, this minion is very profitable when at a low level, especially if you're going to be AFKing, but upgrading them past tier 4 is about the worst financial decision you can make as a skyblock player. Number 2, Lapis Minions. Although not as profitable as the AFK Revenant farm or Tarantula farm, Lapis Minions are much cheaper and are still fairly profitable simply selling to the bazaar. You could also craft Grand XP Vows with them to sell for possibly more. But that's saying for you to look into yourself. We'll estimate that you'll make around 52000 a day for now, although as you must allow me to put on my Wall Street bet hat for just a moment as I predict a market crash coming real soon. As the time of writing this, Lapis Minions are very profitable, but due to the seemingly declining cost of Lapis, they could come to Sub Snow or Sub Clut, a, a minion TR for a few months from now. With that being said, it will still be a reasonably profitable minion which could rise back up at a price at a later date. Which is why I think spot number 2 is very suitable for this minion. They are a bit risky, but they are still pretty goddamn good. I recommend upgrading them to tier 6 or tier 7. Past that is unreasonable. Lapis minions are by far the easiest minions to craft for a beginner, which is why I recommend if you're new, this is the minion for you. Number 1, Glowstone Minion. This minion right now is insanely profitable. Like, actually fucking insanely profitable. It's always been a very good minion, definitely contender for stop number 1, but right now it's winning by an absolute landslide. Glowstone has shot way up in price about a month ago or so, and it seems to be chilling around double where it was before the spike. Right now, this minion could easily make over 130,000 coins a day. Like, that's crazy. Like, holy fucking shit, that's crazy. And unlike the Slayer Mins, no FK is required. I'm not sure how long this is going to stay profitable, but I still think even after a price drop a few months from now, it will still be a very profitable minion, enough for me to consider it as the number one minion. As far as upgrading this minion goes, I recommend upgrading this guy to tier 6 or tier 7. After that, it's just not worth it. It's going to cost you a few hundred K, but it's definitely going to be worth it, don't worry. Unlike the Slayer Minions, it's not too expensive and will pay for itself quickly. In fact, it's cheaper than the Snow Minion. Never in my life have I ever seen something as underappreciated as the Glowstone Minion. This whole video how should be how good the Glowstone Minion is. Get this Minion, like actually, right now. Jesus Christ, this Minion is too fucking good. Thank God it's not no no November anymore because this Minion is too goddamn good. And now, for the shit Minion that everyone is recommending when it really shouldn't be. The Dishonorable Mention, Remnant Minion. This is a shitty minion, just not worth the price at all. Forget about them, they're absolute shit, okay? They are crafted with crystallized hearts, which cost around 660,000 coins to buy all the diamonds for, and even more than to craft the minion itself. However, once you even get a single tier 1 revenue minion, which you get for free after Zombie Slayer 5, upgrading it to tier 4 is very, very cheap, so you can increase your unique minion crafts by a few. That's about the only good use for this minion. But anyway, if you look up this minion online for money making minions, you'll see people talking about how profitable they are, 
but if they really pale in comparison to any other meeting on this list, I suppose if the glowstone market goes down, which is very well possible, it's very likely to, then if you were to AFK tier 11 revenants, then they will be the most profitable minions, but even then, they just cost way too much to be worth it. A tier 11 revenant would make around 45 to 46k a day, but AFKing that can be doubled. However, upgrading these guys past tier 4 has the same problem as tarantula minions. They cost more than the 100 pack of doorknobs on Amazon. This is a scam. Don't buy them. I can only recommend using these guys if you get them for absolutely free from the Slayer Quest. But you should not even do the Slayer Quest. They're stupid and dumb for other reasons. These minions are just like tarantula minions, except they're worse. They're only all that profitable once they pass tier 4, and at that point they've already became too expensive. Anyone short of a billionaire should never even consider purchasing these. I'm gonna say it one more time. Don't buy them. They fucking suck. These are ass minions. Thank you all so, so much for watching this video. You know that subscribe button down below? I think you should go click on it. You know, that is if you want to keep your toes. See you all next time.